As someone who is obsessed with salsa dancing, it is a dream come true to study dance in Cuba. ¿Y qué pasó? Cubans dance salsa and inspires me to take my dancing to a whole other level. So I've started taking classes with Jorge to improve my following so I can follow more complicated movements and styling classes with Yoselin so I can add more flavor and personal style to my dancing so it's not just following and doing the movements mechanically, it's really enjoying the music and the song with my partner. And it all started here at Casa del Son in Havana Vieja. And for me, Casa del Son has kind of been a home away from home here in Havana. It always feels like family when I come in. The classes are always really challenging and really fun. Bailé por primera vez con Melissa. Sentí que verdaderamente le gusta, le gusta bailar. Y encima de eso, tiene, tiene talento. Pero hay cositas que yo tuve que enseñarle y ya tuvo que practicar mucho para que pudiera sentir más lo que estaba haciendo. Primeramente, ella tiene que poner su cuerpo bien relajado. No pensar mucho, no bailar automático. No se puede bailar mecánico. Y si la chica no relaja su cuerpo, no relaja los brazos, no sigue y no tiene contacto visual con el hombre, es muy difícil para ella seguir cualquier movimiento que le indique el hombre. Uh, when Melissa's been, it, it was hard at the beginning. She was crying all the time. <laughs> I'm frustrated. And no, I cannot do it. So, I'm feeling like shit about my dancing right now. I just did a little video to kind of play around on my terrace. I just put on one of my favorite salsa songs. And I just feel like I suck. Um, I don't know. I don't know, I just feel so disappointed in myself. <laughs> I've been here for months. I'm, I'm like embarrassed to go back to my teachers and take classes with them because I feel like I haven't learned anything they taught me. And I don't understand why, like, I can't do it, like why my body won't integrate what I'm learning. I may want to be a dancer, but I'm not good enough to call myself a dancer. And then that makes me feel like, or think, what the hell am I doing? I'm wasting my time. I don't know where I'm going in my life. I'm just so mad at myself when I look at the, these videos and I'm just never going to get better. I'm never going to get to the level I want to get to. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, so I don't know what to do. And I'm just so tired of feeling confused and feeling disappointed in myself. I'm feeling like I keep spending all this time and I'm getting nowhere. I'm gonna keep trying anyway. Um, so I'll try a few more times and then get on with my day, sleep on it, and see how I do tomorrow. Good morning. I have to admit I'm feeling a lot better today and more motivated to really get my butt in gear and practice as much as possible. Melissa's biggest challenge is thinking too much, expecting the move from the man instead of just following the move. Being too stiff, like she needs to relax the hands and the body, upper body. By day I take classes and by night I go out dancing to test out my skills. And the amazing thing about Havana is there is a place to dance every single night. The challenge is finding a night to rest. Tú me la quisiste jugar. Te la tengo guardada. Por abusador, díselo. Saca bien tu cuenta que yo me amor ya saqué la mía. I dance with a lot of my favorite partners tonight who all have a slightly different style. Um, I dance with Jorge, my teacher, which is always really fun, and he just has great energy. My being able to dance with so many different kinds of dancers 
and like follow what they're doing and not get too confused and then have fun playing with the song and adding some flavor and different styling. And I was happy because Yoseline, she saw me dance with Jorge and she was like, oh, that was good. You remembered what I taught you. Like she was happy to see me putting different moves in that she had taught. Uh, so it felt really good. <laughs> I just got back from an awesome night out salsa dancing. It's a little after two in the morning. And just in case you thought that like my salsa dancing life is super glamorous, I wanted to show you like the after. <laughs> it's not sexy. I just can't even explain just like how drenched in sweat I am. I am naked because as soon as I got in my apartment, I just took off all my clothes. This actually happens all the time to me in Cuba. It's so hot here. A slice of real life in Havana after some sweaty salsa dancing. I picked up um, some pan suave on the way home from a, a bakery that was open and put a little peanut butter on it and have a little snack. Um, oops. <laughs> Take a shower and go to bed. I'll start it all over again tomorrow. <laughs> I'm out for a night of salsa dancing in Havana and I'm going to test out my following and styling skills. This is where I see if everything I've been learning at Casa del Son I can actually apply when I'm out dancing. I'm really excited to dance with some of the best dancers in Havana. When I first started going out salsa dancing in Havana, it was pretty challenging because I thought I knew how to dance salsa pretty well, but I found myself losing the steps a lot and not always being able to follow what the leader was trying to tell me to do. And the big thing that my teachers tell me here all the time is you have to dance sin miedo, without fear. Like even when you're first starting out, you can't let embarrassment or self-consciousness hold you back. You just have to go out and try what you learned and keep trying till you get it and you feel really confident doing it. I've had a really great time dancing with a lot of amazing dancers and I feel like a lot of what I've been studying has started to like kick in. When I follow um, really good leaders who are doing complicated moves. I'm much more relaxed in my following and I don't really get too messed up. Like I pretty much know what they want me to do. And the best part is that I can take the styling I've learned and then really have fun with it. So it kind of goes from the beginning where you're just doing steps and just trying to follow and not mess up to a point where you're really dancing to the song with your partner and then it's really fun. Has improved a lot. She's um, enjoying more the music, enjoying more the connection with the men, not focusing so much on what's coming next. She's more relaxed. And she's making lots of friends. Yeah, I think she's making lots of friends. She's making lots of friends. And she's making lots of great moves. Now she's a really great dancer. I'm, I'm really proud of her. <laughs> The next challenge, can I dance with the professional dance company who performs here? <laughs>